Hello, welcome to Married at First Sight UK review. We're almost at the end. Can I just say, today's episode was BS. They absolutely dragged that. Like, it was none of that was necessary. We could have done the five couples in one hour. Like, it was very boring. Um, and they only sh- showed two couples' results. Like, what is with this stupid cliffhanger stuff? But anyways, um, I'll go through it quickly. Obviously, April and George... Wow, I'm glad that George's mum herself, <laughs> she told him, you've been the problem in your past relationship. Now we're understanding, it's all piecing together, the girls and the police accusations are being arrested. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, as expected, they stay together. Um, and he's just so, I'm just so tired of, like, you're really a grown man who's always crying every day that you've been hurt before. I've been hurt before. I don't want it. That hasn't everyone, like get like it's just tiring don't go on the show if you're just going to bring up insecurity and use it to control april for the whole time it's all just a manipulation tactic to get april to constantly prove herself to him and really should have been the other way around um but yeah yeah boring um yeah and then obviously zoe and jenna like like yeah to be fair they're quite boring like i don't see this great entertaining spark between like they're very boring to what their relationship is very dull very boring um and i I don't think they thought this through i think they're just going with like their hearts like oh yeah we've had a great nice time on the experiment like they haven't thought about things that actually matter like the kids location lives businesses like how i don't understand how that's how is that actually meant to work none of them are being realistic it's like two kids making a decision um but yeah and then obviously sophie bless her she is do you know what i've realized i've realized that all this that jonathan goes on about about not being like not being that spark with her and her having something missing i think he's actually intimidated by her and he knows that she deserves a man who's better and he can never be that man and he doesn't want to have to try and live up to being a man worthy of her when he doesn't want to make that effort so he's just probably gonna dead it off or probably you know making excuses when really it's deep down he knows he's just not good enough for her um and he can't be asked to be good enough um because that evolves a lot like so i've realized that um so yeah i don't want her to be upset but i do hope that he leaves um so she can find a man that deserves her um and he can go back to his carpentry in his town and just like yeah complaining about everything but yeah anyways let me know your thoughts on tonight's episode and your predictions for the couples tomorrow so we can discuss it and thanks for watching